Hello everyone and welcome back to Cheesy Code. Today I'm going to tell you about ASP.NET pre-compilation, how it can be helpful for your web deployment and what exactly it is. So let's get started. So these are the topics that I'll be covering in this video. What is publishing? What is pre-compilation? I'll show you a demo of pre-compiling the ASP.NET web application code. Also there is an option related to updatable in pre-compilation. We will discuss about it in the later part of the video. So what exactly is publishing? It is somewhat similar to the build process that we do in our web application, like creating a DLL for the code that we are doing, but there are a few add-ons which we do while publishing a web application. So when we publish a web application, we deploy the exact code that will run the application onto the server, or we can also create a package that can be deployed to a server. So what exactly this package contains? I will be showing you the actual files that are being created after I publish a web application. So all the C-sharp files that we have in a web application, these are compiled and a single DLL is created for those files. So you will not see any C-sharp file after I publish the web application. So let's see how do we publish a web application. Here I have created two applications. One is ASP.NET application, another one is ASP.NET MVC application. So I'll publish each one of them and I'll show you what are the files that are being created after publishing a web application. So we go to build menu, then we have a publish option. The UI that you are seeing here is somewhat changed in the higher version of Visual Studio. So from 2017 onwards, there is a slightly different version of what you're seeing right now. So here I have to create a profile through which I will choose how I want to publish my web application. I'll name it. Basically profile is the settings that we want to have for deploying our web application. So I'm naming it as test publish. There are various ways to publish web deploy, web deploy package, FTP. The option that I'm showing you is file system. It will copy all my compiled files into a single folder. Here I have to specify my folder location in which I want my publish output. So I'll specify a folder path over here. So I've specified this path. We will be using this file publish option shortly. But first, let's just publish it. The build is started. It will first build the project, then it will publish into that particular folder that I have specified. You can go directly to the output folder by using control and click. So this is my published output. You can see that this output doesn't have some folders that we have in original application. Like if I open this application folder, we had controllers, models, app start folder. All this particular code is now compiled into a single DLL. which is my application DLL. Now if I go to view folder, in my views, suppose I open this view, it has all the code written over here. So you can see that CSHTML file has all the content present even after publishing my web application. So this is where pre-compilation comes into picture. What is pre-compilation then? It is an option present in the publishing process which I skipped at the time I was showing you the publishing process. Now what happens is, the CS files are already compiled into the DLL, but there are certain files which are still not compiled and will be compiled at the runtime. Like if we had some files in app underscore code folder of our application, in that case those files would have been compiled at the runtime. Also as we saw that the CSHTML file had all the code present in it, which means that those files will be compiled at the runtime when the user will access those pages. So what pre-compilation does, it actually compiles even the CSHTML and ASPX pages into the DLL. So these files also do not take time while we are running the application. So ultimately the warm-up time of the application get decreased significantly. So this pre-compilation option helps us to compile the code even before the runtime. So let's see how it is done and we'll also see what exactly happens 
after we pre-compile the web application. Let's again go to the publish option. Now in this publish profile, I will use settings that I skipped earlier. Here we can see that there are a few options. First one is delete all existing files prior to publish. Then there is pre-compile during publishing. This is the option that we are looking for. And the third one is exclude file from app data folder. If you want to exclude the files that are present in the app data folder to not to be published. In that case, we can opt for this option. Now let's go inside this pre-compile option. We need to configure it. If we don't configure it, then the default values are taken. So let's see what are the options that we have. These are the advanced option, which I'll not be covering, but here's the one that we should be aware of. So this says allow pre-compile site to be updatable. What does this mean? This means that our CSHTML file and the ASPX file will not be compiled into a DLL. This is beneficial in case we have some changes in our razor syntax, like we have some change in our CSHTML file. So we need not to republish the application, it's just that we can change the file directly and we'll be good to go. But for now, we want our CSHTML and ASPX pages to be compiled into a DLL. So I'm unchecking this option. Click on OK. And I'm clicking on Publish. I would like to mention that when we pre-compile the web application, it takes longer time than usual. So if you have an application which has more than 100 pages, so you can assume that it will take 5 to 10 minutes depending on the complexity of your project to get it pre-compiled. So now let's have a look at the output. I will open the view folder. Now here you can see that we have CSHTML file, but if I open this file, I can see that this file is empty and it says that this is a marker file generated by pre-compilation tool and should not be deleted. So where exactly the code went for this login.cshtml file? The code is present into the bin. Here's the compiled output of that particular view. This says this is the compiled file. So we can see that all the views are present over here in the form of a compiled file. That's what happens when we choose pre-compilation option for our web application deployment. This pre-compilation option is very good for prod deployment. It might take time for the initial publish, but after the code gets deployed, the warm-up time is almost zero. We have this done in our application. Let's now compile the other application that I had. I have to create a separate profile for this one. I will do same settings as I did for MVC application. I'll change the setting. Now let's open any ASPX page. You can see the ASPX page is blank. Let's go to bin to check if there is any pre-compiled file present. See, there are pre-compiled files present into my bin. So that's how you can use pre-compilation option while publishing your web application. And you can see at your end if it works for you. So that's it from my side. Do tell me if you face any problem regarding this. You can comment onto this video. I will see if I can help you regarding your problem. Also, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching.